In the Invincible universe, there are quite a few powerful characters. Omni-Man, Battle Beast, even Invincible himself. But head and shoulders above the rest has to be Thrag. Grand Regent Thrag. The strongest and most powerful of all the Viltrumites. But just how powerful is he? Well, that's what we're going to get into. From birth, Thrag was bred to be the strongest Viltrumite ever. Having been trained in every single form of combat and way to kill. When the Viltrum Empire was plunged into a civil war, well, Thrag got the chance to prove himself, leading his army to restore Viltrum and form it into an unstoppable race of the most powerful warriors in the universe. Ruthless, powerful, and intelligent, Grand Regent Thrag ruled the Empire for thousands of years, until Invincible and Omni-Man finally questioned his rule and stood up to him. That's when the true battle began. So for starters, well, why are the Viltrumites so stinking powerful? Well, it's because they have access to smart atoms, molecularly the same as normal atoms, but they give access to all sorts of powers on the atomic level. And Viltrumites are unique because they can use smart atoms for a whole lot of different powers, super strength, super speed, flight, and they're the only race in the universe to have smart atoms literally encoded inside their DNA. That's what makes them so powerful. And just how powerful are they? Well, with super strength, most higher tier Viltrumites are in a class all their own. Like Conquest, we can casually bust out of a solid 400 ton solid steel block encased all around his body, as well as six miles of earth caving in on top of him. During his fight against Invincible, while well, Omni-Man was punching Mark so hard that he was shaking entire mountains and doing this repeatedly. In fact, he was sending Mark flying all over the planet and causing earthquakes each time that he landed. There have been plenty of instances where people have said that Viltrumites are able to destroy worlds even physically tear them apart with their bare hands. And you know what? Well, we've actually seen that. Omni-Man, Invincible, and Thaddeus all teamed up to destroy the planet Viltrum, which is roughly twice the size of Earth. They busted it apart just by flying straight through it. So yeah, the higher tier Viltrumites are incredibly powerful. And then there's Thrag who has routinely shown the strength and power to overpower these higher tier Viltrumites and legit rip them apart. He ripped Thaddeus' head clean off. He tore off Oliver's arm and killed him with just one punch. He managed to overpower both Invincible and Omni-Man at the same time. He's torn Omni-Man in half before. He's even torn Invincible in half too. Nothing is stopping Thrag here. He's easily the most powerful Viltrumite. And you know what? Thrag has been able to dominate pretty much everyone in the Invincible universe, not just Viltrumites. So he's really not just the strongest Viltrumite, but just the strongest character out there, period. Like there's Dinosaurus. While he might not seem that impressive, he is a guy who's able to easily match up against and overpower Invincible. Thrag quickly dominated him and killed him. Then there's his fight with Battle Beast, a guy who's the most formidable warrior in the universe and can kill Viltrumites like it's nothing. And Thrag was still able to fight him for four days straight and ultimately do him in. Yes, Thrag is the strongest character in Invincible. Until Mark finally came into his own at the very, very end of the series. But it's not just strength. Thrag is easily the toughest and most durable character in the universe too. I mean, in some of Invincible's first fights against Thrag, Invincible hit him with his best shots. And Thrag was literally able to just shrug them off. The most that Mark was able to do was just give him a nosebleed. And actually, 
he was able to take attacks from Invincible and Omni Man at the same time, it basically did nothing. In fact, Omni Man was never really able to injure Thrag at all, especially in comparison to just how much Thrag was able to mess him up. Even in his final fight against Invincible, while well, Thrag and Invincible legit fought in the sun for 23 pages straight in the comic, they were in the sun up to 2 million degrees Fahrenheit. And while Thrag did finally burn up, it's incredibly impressive that he was able to survive for just as long as he did. And it's not just against Invincible or other Viltrumites either. Like Dinosaurus, he was able to tear apart Invincible clones with his claws and bite off Omnipotus's head. Omnipotus is an all-powerful villain who possesses almost limitless cosmic powers. He's even claimed to have destroyed whole solar systems before. But yet, when Dinosaurus tried to fight and injure Thrag, well, his claws broke off on his chest and his teeth shattered around his head. Then his fight with Battle Beast. Before the fight even began, Thrag was ambushed by Ragnars, leaving him disemboweled and bitten apart. And yet, immediately after that, Thrag began his fight against Battle Beast. And that fight went on for days. And even with Thrag being ripped open, losing an eye, having his skull torn into, being punched so hard that he was destroying cities upon impact. Through all of it, through all those injuries and everything, Thrag still won and ended the fight by literally ripping out Battle Beast insides. And even after a fight like that, well, it took Thrag just a week to recover. Yes, healing is just that great and that fast. Then lastly, speed. And all Viltrumites are able to ignore gravity and move around at faster than light speed, as they're actually able to bypass the speed of light altogether by subspace jumping their atoms. And Thrag can definitely do this, move at faster than light speeds like he's been able to catch up with a ship moving faster than light across the universe, catch up to it, react to it, and then bull rush straight through it. A clear, faster than light reaction and attack feat. Thrag is able to blitz Thaddeus, Omni Man, and Alan the Alien, all at the same time. He's faster than Invincible at his best, and is faster than Omni Man too able to casually react to him throughout fights and catch him off guard. At the end of the day, Thrag and the Viltrumites are at the very least planetary level, meaning they can destroy planets. We've seen that happen. And as for Thrag himself, well, he's the most powerful out of all of them. No one can stand up to him alone. No one can stop him. He truly is the best of the best out of this race of alien warriors and killers. The guy is just built different. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're going to have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.